Hey there guys, this is Ultracrunt and this is going to be my uh, 2013 channel review. In this video I'm going to be talking about um, everything about my channel from 2013 so I'm going to be like looking back on um, my let's plays that I've done uh, in the past year and um, other videos too and um, I'm going to talk about some of the good things and bad things on the channel throughout uh, the year and then uh, I'm going to also talk about some plans for this year as well. Um, I'll try not to make this video too long. It's going to be fairly detailed, I think, but I'll, I'll try not to make it too long. So, um, first off, um, I think I'm just going to go over all the numbers stuff first, and then we'll go into like the Let's Plays and stuff. As far as numbers go, um, in 2013 I hit 250 subscribers, which is amazing. I didn't think I'd hit so many subs like uh, doing gaming videos. They, I mean, gaming videos are pretty popular, but a lot of people, it's so saturated now that it's very hard to get really any views or noticed, unless you're like, really different. So just to have that many people subscribe to me and like watching my videos is pretty amazing. I think at this point in time I'm at like 270. Like, since the new year I've hit 270, but it's amazing that there's that many people still. Um, speaking of which, um, in 2012 I hit 100, so it was like, so cool that I hit like another sort of landmark in a way. And then like, um, video views as well, total video views, um, I'm almost at 100,000. I think I hit 98,000 by the end of the year, so that is really cool. Like, so many people have seen my videos. And, uh, I mean, that's like the population of a city or a town, you know. It's, like, pretty cool. And, uh, even, like, if people just didn't like the videos or anything, or all enjoyed them, you know, it's just cool that I've someone's seen one of my videos at the same time. Like, I uploaded 327 videos as well last year. Uh, that's almost a video every single day. Uh, there was times where I had breaks, and there was times where I uploaded more than one video a day, or s more than seven videos a week. And then towards the end of the year, like, my channel started dying down a bit because of university work that I was behind on. But, um, that's pretty awesome that I've managed to keep a pretty consistent thing going up until, like, November last year, where it got bad. I'm hoping to make it a bit more consistent this year, again. Um, I'm slowly building back up to um, making a at least a video every single day, so there's that to look forward to. I made nine new Let's Plays this year, or, well, started nine new Let's Plays this year. Other things worth mentioning, um, I've got access to make. I made some of my own thumbnails this year. True, they're all in Microsoft Paint, but all of them have been done by me up to this point, so it's make the channel slightly a bit more professional, you know. I've done my first um, live streams as well this year. That, that was over on Twitch. Um, I've got the ability to live stream on YouTube, but YouTube's chat system for live streams is... You either get them where they're broken and they don't work properly, or you get them where the chat doesn't work altogether and it just you have to use a comment system and you have to keep refreshing the page to view the new comments. Which is really annoying. Which is why I, I, I did it over on Twitch, and then I plan to do more, uh, a lot more streaming in future, though. So uh, it'll all be over on my Twitch channel when I do that, and then I'll eventually upload videos onto YouTube from there. And then uh, I think one of the biggest things for me was um, it was the first time putting my face on like a video. Uh, I did like three or four videos where you, you actually saw my face. Uh, two of those were the golden eye videos where I did the two controller thing. Um, but that was a really big thing for me because I have the worst confidence and, uh, well, I used to have really bad confidence and it's still a bit, you know, iffy, but like I'm just a nervous speaker in general. I mean, doing Let's Plays is hard enough for me because I enjoy doing them, but I'm such a nervous speaker, which is why I have a lot of erms and do a lot of nervous giggles and stuff in my videos. It's a... Uh, I mean, if you watch my co-op stuff, uh, I'm a bit more comfortable and know it's because I'm actually talking to someone else. But at the same time, it's still a little bit weird for me doing that. But, you know, it's... I'm, I'm very 
nervous when I do videos and just talk. Uh, that's why I just ramble so much as well. It's kind of like public speaking in a way. Just it's everyone not stood up in front of people. And I, I'm no good at public speaking either. So um, thank you all for like sticking with me. If you've if you've stuck with me for a long time, um, or if you're new, thank you for like subscribing and like actually giving me a chance when I'm as nervous and stuff as I am. Um, right. Um, the main thing I want to talk about in this video then, um, my let's plays in general. Um, I made nine new let's plays this year. Um. I feel like I could have done more, but uh, things get in the way, and you, you just life catches up to you sometimes. You have to focus on life for a bit sometimes. Um, this year, um, it was quite a variety of different let's plays I did. Um, I started off the year with um, finishing off uh, XCOM season one and Halo two. Halo two went pretty well. I feel like that was um, a fairly good let's play. Uh, it could have been better. There was times where I, I, I got sick and I was just very nervous in certain places because I wanted to show how much I loved the game, but at the same time I was just really nervous about like showing, talking about certain things in the game. There's still some more videos I want to do for that game, but um, I won't be doing them for a little while yet. I, I want to go through each of the campaign levels that I've done and show off all the extras and hidden things. So it, it's, I want to do it straight after, but then I just never did. Um, that's something I'll probably do this year at some point. And then XCOM Season 1 was amazing because um, I started doing the game and it was... I was really, I started doing the game and I was originally just going to use um, characters from games I've uh, done Let's Plays of. But then uh, Sean Brannigan, who you might have seen in the comments before or you've seen him in the XCOM videos in general, suggested that I put subscribers as my soldiers in the game. And uh, that's what's born, made uh, my XCOM 1 Let's Play and XCOM 2 Let's Plays like um, pretty interesting because uh, it, a lot of attention got drawn to that first one because um, a lot of people came in and wanted to be soldiers in the game and see how they'd um, go through the game or when they'd die or how they'd die or if they'd reach the end or things like that, just little details. It was pretty cool, um, so many people just came out to watch it, and, um, I mean, originally there was only, I only thought there would be about four or five people that would be interested in it. It started off with, like, Wubu, Chog, myself, and Sean, I think. After that, it sort of, like, sl gradually I got, like, about 30 to 35 people over time throughout the entire playthrough, which was really cool. Uh, having all the interactions with people and everything was really um, a cool experience. I think that's why I enjoyed the first season a lot. Just that interaction. And uh, I'm really happy that uh, Sean gave me that idea. So, uh, like, pretty much all credit goes to Sean for uh, that first season and second season, even. Then I finally got into my first new Let's Play of the year. Um, it was Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, this was one that was requested after I did Grand Theft Auto 3. And I did plan to do it soon after Grand Theft Auto 3, but I decided to push it back. Um, I was worried about uh, copyright on this, um, on that playthrough. Uh, because uh, there's so much music in Vice City that's recognisable that I, I was very worried about like the videos getting muted or getting copyright strikes for um, actually having the video uploaded in the first place just because it had a bit of music in the background. You know, because people want to steal a song off of a video when there's someone talking over it and there's car engine noise on it. I don't know. Uh, that's the logic of, um, that's just the logic of um, record labels and stuff like that. Overall, I think when they finally got around to doing that game, I had a lot of fun with it. And it was probably one of the best I did that year. There were certain parts that I wish I could have done better. There was one or two episodes that I wish I could have did better, but um, in the end it was alright. It went pretty okay. I think uh, the major improvement from that, from uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 into Vice City was, um, I think my commentary was overall a little bit better. Um, when I did Grand Theft Auto 3 I was still very nervous about doing it because it was like my third or fourth let's play ever so. My commentary was slightly improved and um, like when I did my guide videos in the game it was um, improved a lot as well because I did um, the guides for like the ramps and 
packages and stuff, and I made them very detailed, like I had the map on screen, and um, I gave better directions to the spots and landmarks and stuff, so I think overall, like, the playthrough as a whole was a lot better. It's not the best I did. It's not the best I could have done, I don't think, but I think I did a pretty good job on it, especially compared to free. I think free with the packages and stuff, I was a bit lazy with those. That was also where I did my first thumbnails as well, that series, because uh, I think my first thumbnail was on, like, episode 30 or something. And uh, it was a lot of fun to make thumbnails for that, or, like, make more interesting ones anyway. There was somewhere I just took a screenshot and just put text on top of it, and that was it. But it was, it was a lot of fun to do that one. Um, next up, uh, there was Duke Nukem 3D, which is still ongoing, unfortunately. Um, I don't know when that will be finished, but um, yeah, we start. Me and Chug started that because um, we thought it'd be fun to do a, another shooter similar to Doom, and we we both enjoy like the Duke Nukem quotes. We just love saying those because it's just so over the top and stupid. Um, so we, we thought we'd have a lot of fun with the game, and we we did to an extent. Not as much fun as Doom 2, I don't think. I don't think there'll be there's many let's plays we could do or many games we could do where we had as much fun as we did with Doom 2, which is kind of strange considering we both didn't really know much about Doom 2 when we did it. Um, Duke Nukem 3D, unfortunately, is still going on though. We've got one more episode of it to go through. Um, I don't know when that will happen because um, like those first three episodes took us a while to do in general just because of. Um, general problems for um, me involving my Xbox and internet connection and then for Chug he had like work and uh, only being able to record at specific times so um, it was very hard for us to work stuff out for that playthrough which is probably why it's still going on now unfortunately it actually pushed back a couple of games we had in mind uh, of doing but uh, maybe we'll get to those in the future uh, so, unfortunately, Duke Nukem was fun to do in parts, but, um, yeah, in the end, it's just been a bit... It's dragged on a bit now. Um, I'm hoping we can finish it off, though, because I'd hate to cancel it. We also started Gears of War Judgment this year. Basically, when it's Let's Play this game, though, in general, because we both um, had played Gears of War 3, and we really liked that game. Like, I think Gears of War 3 is probably the best um, Gears of War game in the series. It's a lot of fun, and there's, like, a lot of variety on it like a variety of game modes and stuff but I don't know, uh, for some reason we didn't have as much fun with Gears of War Judgment as we thought we would so we were playing through it, we, we had f a bit of fun with it there was um... you know we, we did complain about some of the changes in the game and the campaign and we did the inf entire first uh, chapter of the game but uh, yeah again Xbox problems and internet problems caused us to struggle with episode 2 of it which we actually did start. We did the first two levels before my internet died. And I, I might still have the um, footage and uh, Skype calls somewhere, so I might put those up one day as a Grunt's Vault episode or something. In the end, we decided to cancel it because we felt like we weren't enjoying it as much as we thought, so we decided to drop it and then continue with Duke Nukem some more. That's the history of Gears of War Judgment. It was over pretty quickly for us. So. We still have yet to finish that game, actually. We haven't played through the entire campaign since, so... Uh, and then next, we've got uh, Sonic 3D Blast. Uh, the main reason I did Sonic 3D Blast was um, not because of the game, but because I wanted to change up um, what had been on my channel in the past... Um, well, the past load of Let's Plays. Because if you look at the Let's Plays I did that year alone, they were very action orientated, like Gears of War, Duke Nukem, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, yeah, I had the leftover ones from the year before, and then like I think the ones before I did Halo 2 and XCOM were, um, I think I did a shooter then, I think I did some fear episodes or something. So it, it was like a lot of shooting and uh, action going on. So I wanted to change up the pace a bit, so um, I started Sonic 3D Blast. It's not the best game in the series, it's not even one of the most okay games in the series, but it was fun to do that game though. To an extent, the controls are frustrating as hell in that game still, but I think with um, Sonic 3D Blast, it's just one of those games, because um, I ended up getting the game instead of Sonic and & Knuckles, and I remember being very disappointed by the game when I uh, got that instead. Or was it the other way around? I, I can't remember, but yeah, in hindsight, uh, I never really enjoyed 3D Blast as much, 
And it took me a while to complete it just because of the control system on it. And I, I kept getting lost on the game and it, it was just uh, annoying all around. Uh, but as far as the playthrough went, I thought it went pretty decently. Um, I think I overall did a fairly good playthrough of it. I knew where most of the stuff was and um, I did 100% on it and got the final level. I just kind of wish uh, there was more I could say about the game. It's just a bad game, that's the problem. It's hard to talk about. It's, like, it's hard to talk about as far as my commentary goes now. It's kind of hard to look back on and say, oh, that was fun to do because it wasn't a very good game in the first place, but I don't know. I think the main thing, this is going to sound kind of stupid, but I think the main thing I did best in Sonic 3D Blast was actually the thumbnails. I was very happy with those thumbnails I made for that game. Or that playthrough, I should say. And you know it's a bad one there. <laughs> you think that's the best part about the game. Then I moved on to Star Fox slash Star Wing. Um, I thought this one went pretty okay-ish. I think this one could have gone a lot better though. I'd made a, this map screen that I was very happy with, where I put all the annotations over the planets on the map screen in the game. And uh, if you clicked on the annotations, it took you to the the video, and then the exact point in the video where I started that level, which I thought would be pretty cool. And uh, I always wanted to do a map screen in general, or that sort of style of video, where you can just click on the annotations and it takes you to certain points in the game. And I want to do that again for few, a couple of future games, but I don't know when that will be. Overall, this game was pretty fun to do. I was actually surprised that I managed to beat the hard route um, at the time, because the hard route is very hit and miss for me. Very often I die before I get to the final boss. I was glad I could show off the secret level though, the, um, the one with the giant slot machine and paper planes all over the place. Because uh, I don't feel like many people show that in Let's Plays. I've seen quite a few where they don't show that one. Or they like play one route and that's it. So I was happy to show that off. Again, no, I've, I think my commentary wasn't great on this game. I, I feel like I could have done better. It was just a very uh, finicky one for me at the time, because it was a struggle to kind of record it in the first place. I don't know why, but the screen resolutions changed in each of the different screens you went on. Like, title screen was one res resolution, the map screen was another. Actual in-game was a, a completely different resolution, so I had to do a lot of messing about in editing to try and make it flow better. Uh, I feel like my commentary was pretty bad though in that playthrough, unfortunately. As much as I love that game. Originally I wanted to do Star Fox 64 instead, but um, with Star Fox 64 I was worried about the copyright stuff that was going on with Nintendo at the time. Where they were like, apparently videos were getting taken down at around the time because uh, Nintendo didn't like Let's Plays. And thought people were just uh, watching the videos instead of buying the games and playing them. So that's one thing that put me off doing Star Fox 64 since it's more recognised than um, Star Fox 1. So yeah, I guess that might have been a reason why it sort of suffered a bit more as well, my commentary, because I was wanted to do one other game instead of that one. Which is unfortunate, because it is a good game, it's just... I don't know, it, it's just not the game I wanted to play at the time. After that, I moved on to Time Splitters 3, or Time Splitters Future Perfect. With this game, um, this was one that people requested a lot but, um, after I did Time Splitters 2. Or like in the year, like the time after Time Splitters 2, I got quite a few requests for this one. Um, I said I was going to eventually do this one. Um, I think I was originally going to do it in 2012, but then I moved it back because I wanted to do other games instead. Time Splitters 3 was pretty fun. I was um, happy with how the campaign went. I feel like the Arcade League went pretty well as well. I, I think my commentary was decent. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. I thought it was pretty decent. But I do wish that um, I could have recorded it at a slightly higher quality. For some reason my S video wasn't working when I was uh, trying to record the game. So I had to just record with the free standard cables. So uh, the quality was a bit lower than usual, according to the Dazzle anyway. And like I just feel like I couldn't make that game look good enough. Uh, it always felt blurry or a bit foggy whenever I uh, did, whenever I looked at the videos. And then that was during the time where my internet started going really bad. So um, with the bad internet I couldn't upload my videos fast enough and it was really annoying me. Uh, so what I had to do instead was actually compress the videos down to really small files. So they were like compressed to all hell and make artifact and happen all over the video and like quality loss. Just so I could upload the videos that in like under two hours. It was just terrible. So uh, it was a really frustrating let's play for me. 
or at least the campaign portion was for me. Uh, the arcade portion wasn't so bad since my internet sort of stabilized a tiny bit by that time. I wish I could have done it a slightly higher quality though still. Because the S video makes a lot of difference when you look at these recordings. But I've still got to finish a challenge mode in that game. I think I might finish that off this year. And then uh, we can put time splitters away for a bit, I think. Until they make a new one. Next, I started a, a small weekend project, which only took me two weekends. But um, I did uh, Mario Kart 64 for two weekends. Just as a bit of variety, because... Um, at the time I had, I think Star Fox and Time Splits 3 were running at the same time along this, side this, so um, I did um, Mario Kart 64 because it, it's a fun game and I just wanted to play through the um, the Grand Prix mode on it. It didn't take me long, um, I'd recorded it all in one day and just uploaded it over Saturday and Sunday for two weeks. And uh, it was supposed to start like um, a regular like weekend Let's Play sort of thing going on, but um, then I never did it, just because... Um, well, I just couldn't get into it at the time, but it's something I still want to do where I have, like, something on the weekends to look forward to, besides the regular stuff I'm putting up, but I don't know. Uh, overall, it, it went pretty alright. I had fun doing that game, and I was able just to just blast through it, really. It was just a, a nice little break from Time Splitters, real. There's not much to say about it, because a lot of people have already said everything about Mario Kart, I think, but yeah. Um, I just want to go back to it at some point and um, play some 4 player maybe, some 4 player versus and uh, battle mode maybe. Uh, might have to go on the emulator for that or something, I don't know, to play it online or get people around. But uh, playing multiplayer games um, in my room is terrible because my room is so small. Pretty much everyone has to sit on top of each other just to play games, so I don't know. It, it's is also the struggle of trying to get people round that I know that will actually play Mario Kart as well. Because uh, some people just think, I'm too old for that game now. I hope to do some 4 player though eventually of it. Because that would be cool. Because that's where the fun comes in for Mario Kart. Uh, and then we get onto one of my current Let's Plays, which is XCOM Season 2. Unfortunately, I started this in September, expecting to um, get it done before November. Um, I was annoyed when I found out Enemy Within was coming out, like just after I started the Let's Play, because I wanted to hold off originally just until that came out so I could uh, make that part of the playthrough. But uh, yeah, unfortunately I timed it badly, and uh, I pushed it forward from um, from November originally to uh, September just because I thought university would interfere with the game too much which it did like it ended up causing a lot of problems for me when I was recording it and uh, trying to get more videos out so I had to focus on my work instead of actually doing the videos um, so overall it's not been as good as XCOM season 1 like as far as um, recording it just because I've been stressed out a lot while trying to record it and um, I just kind of missed that we don't have as many people coming back from the old season. We've got a fair few. I mean, we've got like uh, eight or nine people from season one that are on board for this season. And then we've got a, a good bunch of new people. But um, I kind of wish that we just had everyone from the first season and then all the, the new people have come in since because that would have been really cool to have like, like 40, 50 people all looking forward to it. Um, being in the game again. Overall though I think this playthrough is going pretty well. I just wish I could have done Enemy Within instead. And I didn't want to switch it halfway through because it just... you just can't do that. So... it's kind of unfortunate but... it's still going on now. Um, I think we're close to the end now on the game. Um, I don't know when this XCOM Season 3 will happen though. It'll probably happen in the future though. It depends uh, how badly people want another season of XCOM. And then f the final Let's Play I did this year, well last year I mean, is um, Sonic CD. And I, I did this one blind because I've never played Sonic CD. As big of a Sonic fan as I am, I never played Sonic CD because I never owned a Mega CD or um, Sega CD, whatever it's called, Sega Saturn. And then, then I never picked it up when it came out on um, the GameCube either. I picked it up on my Xbox Live for cheap and then never played it as well. So, I don't know. Then I just got it in um, a massive Sonic pack on Steam where I just got like every Sonic game ever on 
and uh, and that's when I decided to finally play it. A couple of people mentioned it to me um, before. I ended up really enjoying this one though. I, this was my best Let's Play because I was so excited to play it um, while I was playing it, and uh, I was really enjoying it. I was loving the music. I, I liked talking to the people in the comments as well. Like there was people talking about the music with me, talking about the game in general, telling me about certain things in the game that I can look for where the hidden objects were that I need to find, explaining how the game works. It was really good because um, it, I was helped out a lot by people on the game, and I also was happy that it, I was doing a blind playthrough again. That wasn't terrible. And I'm really glad it didn't go the way of Portal when I did Portal Blind. I did Portal Blind and I hated the game because of when I was playing it. I've never gone back to it since, and I just don't know why, I just couldn't get into that game at all. I'm surprised I haven't taken those videos down yet. Maybe one day I'll take them down. <laughs> but yeah, um, Sonic CD was um, probably my best playthrough of the year, I think. I think if I had to pick um, my top three playthroughs of this year, I'd say Sonic CD was probably the best, Vice City was probably the second best, and um, I don't know, maybe Time Splitters 3 for third, even though I was annoyed by the quality of it. I'd probably say that was my third best one of the year. And then um, this year, besides uh, the Let's Plays, I did a bunch of um, PC videos because I got a new gaming PC this year. I did a bunch of Worms Armageddon videos, which were really fun, and I've been meaning to make more with um, Chog and Dan, but um, I'm just sorting out some problems recording the game because it's sort of a weird resolution. It's like it either turns up really small and recording or really huge, so uh, I'm still trying to work that one out. But yeah, that was fun to do. I, I aim to do some more of that. Just because we love messing around with the voice packs in the game. It's awesome. I did a bunch of Payday 1 and Payday 2 videos. Uh, because I picked up Payday 1. Because um, I heard about it before and it looked kind of fun to play. And uh, we ended up really enjoying those games. So uh, I just made a bunch of videos on them. Uh, I'm hoping to eventually have them all, um, every single level done on the video. But... I don't know when that'll be, but those were fun to do. Um, I did um, some golden ice sauce with those guys as well. Uh, that was um, we only did a couple of matches of that, but that was um, fun to do for a little bit. Uh, I might go back to that one day with like if we get more than just the three of us, maybe have like six or seven people to get a proper deathmatch going. I think that would be cool to do. Um, I also did some PC stuff on Sonic Week. I did like Sonic the Challenges and Sonic 2XL, which was hilarious. And I did Sonic.exe. That was amazing, that game. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I think that was actually my first PC stuff I did. That's some of the stuff I did in Sonic Week. I did a, a couple of videos on like a couple of games for the first time I played them, like the Bureau, which I thought sucked. I did Super Mario Krat, Armor 2 demo, no, Armor 2 demo, Armor Tactics demo. I did some Nitronic Rush as well. That's a good game. And yeah, that was pretty fun overall. And then uh, I did DayZ finally. The main reason I ever wanted a PC was to play DayZ. I did um, the DayZ mod for a couple of videos with Chug and Dan. And uh, across that entire like hour, two hours that we were playing, it was hilarious. I, I loved every moment in that game. And uh, i played the mod a bunch since and just... Uh, I bought a standalone, I've been meaning to uh, put up a video on it. Like I recorded my first uh, couple of hours in the game and I was going to make a first... Um, like first day on that video. Uh, I mean on that game. And that was a... yeah, Daisy. Just that video was a lot of fun. Go and check those two out, they were probably some of my best videos of the year as well I think. Like if I had to recommend videos from my channel for this year, I'd probably say like one or two parts from Vice City, one or two parts from Sonic CD, those two DayZ videos I put up, Super Mario Krat, and maybe Sonic.exe or something. Um, possibly one of the Time Splits 3 videos, I'm not sure. And maybe one of the Duke Nukem 3D episodes. Probably the one where um, we were laughing at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were like uh, laughing at uh, Chug like kicking all the strippers and stuff. And that was hilarious. Like if I just had to recommend a handful of videos on my channel, anyway, that'd be it. Right, so that's everything as far as um, games go, anyway, and videos go. Overall, I think the year went pretty well for me. Um, 
as like video wise it was great viewer wise it was great talking to people was great in the comments starting live streams was awesome and finally I can start doing that but besides all the good stuff there's a couple of bad things that happened like um, not being able to finish off Duke Nukem is one of them because my Xbox wouldn't connect to the internet for some reason and then my internet got super slow for a few weeks and months and then like college and work and university interfering like I mean work for Chog you know, I interfered with the game, but, you know, it can't be helped, you know, people need to do stuff in life. University and college was pretty bad for me when I was um, trying to do that game as well, but... University, again, slowing down my uh, video uploads and activity towards the end of the year, it was just... Uh, I feel terrible for how that really went, because I was really enjoying getting, like, several videos out a week, like, we were getting about 12 videos out a week at one point, but then, you know, that sort of was killed by university and uh, not realising how much work I had to do, actually. So it sort of died down a bit for me. But I'm hoping that doesn't happen for the start of this year, when I start going back. And then the other thing, really, I can think of is just all the games I didn't get to do this year that I wanted to do. There's a big list of games that I've... Um, well, it's, it's not a big list, but if you look back at my preview video for this year, there's quite a few games on there I didn't get to play or wanted to do. But I'll talk about those more during my 2014 plans. And then finally, one of the things I consider a bad thing was um, how um, I ended up dropping end screens. When I switched computers from my old one to my new one, I actually uh, stopped doing end screens a lot because I actually didn't have the time to rebuild the screens again. I transferred some of the stuff over, but um, for some reason, I couldn't transfer the original presets I used on Sony Vegas to um, my new version of Sony Vegas, so I wasn't able to remake the end screens in the same way. So um, I ended up dropping them for time, and uh, I'm annoyed that I did that because I always liked having the end screens there. It just sort of rounds off the video a bit, I think. Um, sort of like having the outro there and then just like being able to see a couple of extra videos that to um, look at. So a lot of XCOM um, Season 2 doesn't actually have it. I don't think it has it all together, actually. Which is kind of a shame, I just... I don't know. I want to bring them back, though. Um, I'll probably try and bring them back for my first Let's Play this year. And uh, I'm trying to bring them back into XCOM as well. I might redesign a, a general one. Just a general end screen to put on the end of every single video. Or just uh, design individual ones again like I did uh, before. I think for the 2013 section of this, I think I'm actually done talking about it. I've gone over pretty much everything from 2013. Overall, good year for uh, my channel. And uh, I think this year will be pretty good. I think what I'm going to aim for in 2014 is um, like a couple of different things. Um, at the moment, I'm at like 720 videos. At the time of this recording, I am anyway. I think this year I want to try and break the 1000 mark. I want to try and get my 1000th video out by the end of the year. Because I think that would be a good landmark to aim for for this year. Hopefully I'll hit um, 150,000 views maybe in total. That would be cool. Uh, what other stats does this go through? I think I've got all my stats actually. Um, so as far as this year goes, I've got a to-do list that I want to get through. On my to-do list there is XCOM Season 2. Um, I'm going to get through that. I want to finish that off. I don't know how many more episodes it's going to go on for, but I'm hoping that we can actually get it done before... Well, actually, no. I'm hoping it doesn't run on too much longer than the original season did. The original season went for 70 episodes in total, so I'm hoping this one doesn't go f as long as that did. Uh, well, not too much longer, I should say. I, f I think 8 is going to be the uh, aim. Around 80. I also got the Time Flutters 3 challenge mode. Um, I want to do that at some point this year, get it out of the way. Maybe later down the line, maybe late spring, early summer. I want to actually revisit The World Is Not Enough and uh, take care of the extras I said I'd do. In The World Is Not Enough I said there was a couple extras I want to show off like, um, there's um, some of the mechanics in multiplayer I wanted to show off and some of the multiplayer maps that I wanted to show off. There's also a couple of glitches I wanted to show and uh, maybe I'll do a speed run on the game as well, um, on the agent mode because it's not an extremely hard game on agent. And I could probably beat the game in under half an hour on an uh, agent. So, I don't know, maybe that's something I could do as well. 
as an extra. But yeah, I want to take care of the extras for that game this year. I might take care of the extras for another game as well at some point. I'd, there's a couple of games I said I'd do extras for that I haven't done yet, but I might do them soon. Hopefully I'll be able to finish Duke Nukem at some point this year. It'd be nice to finish it off. So, uh, games I had planned for 2013 that I want to hopefully do this year. A couple of the games I had in mind for this year, uh, well last year, was um, games like Left 4 Dead and uh, Star Fox 64. They were two that I wanted to do this year, but um, I pushed them back for one reason or another. Left 4 Dead is one that I want to do, but uh, I still want to hold off on doing it. I want to just get my um, like a list of people together that I want to play through that game with. Because the plan for that game, for me, that I had in mind, was um, playing through each individual campaign on the game. But like have a different group of people for each one or something. So like one would have like me, Chug, Dan, and whoever on. Uh, then maybe the next one would have another one, another set of my friends on, uh, and then one after might have like a teammate out subscribers or something. I don't know. Um, I was thinking of doing something like that anyway, where I just had um, a different team of people for each one. So I think that'd be pretty cool, a cool let's play to do. It'd probably be across both the Xbox version and the Steam version though, because um, I've got friends in several different places on when it comes to that game. So not everyone I know is got a PC that can play games, so. But that's one I pushed back, for that reason. Um, Star Fox, I explained earlier, uh, I pushed back because of the Nintendo copyright thing. I wanted to do a, a Mario game, like a um, either Mario 64 or Mario uh, Sunshine. But uh, again, the Nintendo copyright thing happened and I decided against doing one for a while. Hopefully this year I can do one. I don't know which game I'm going to do yet, but I want to do one of them this year. Two others that I had planned that were surprises. I had Hitman Blood Money. That's the one I want to do at some point this year. Uh, I had some, I had a really good idea for that playthrough. I might actually keep the idea in mind secret. I did put Hitman Blood Money in the preview video I made for tw 2013. I used music from the game in the background, which was sort of like a, a hint that I was going to play that game and keep it as a surprise, but I wanted to see if anyone actually worked it out. I don't think anyone really did. I think I told somebody about it, but I, I can't remember. I don't think anyone caught on to that, though. I'd like to do Hitman Blood Money this year, at some point. And then the other game that was a surprise that I pushed back was um, F-Zero GX. It's the sequel to F-Zero X on the GameCube, I mean on the Nintendo 64. So, um, like, I really want to do this because this is, like, probably one of the biggest tests of any player's skill ever, I think. Some people say Contra is, like, a test of skill, or, like, I want to be the guy who's a test of skill, but honestly, um, I don't know, I think F-Zero GX is one of the hardest games I've ever beaten, and it definitely higher than a lot of those games I mentioned. I want to be the guy is easy, for starters. Like, I want to be the guy, them sort of games are easy because it's just memorization. Once you see all the mistakes in the level, you can easily get past them all. And then as uh, for Contra, Contra, you, again, it's difficult, but it's not super difficult. I think most people have beaten it either with uh, the lives cheat or without the lives cheat, so... This game is brutally difficult. Um, even on the normal mode it's pretty difficult, on the story mode at least. In the Grand Prix mode it's not so bad, but once you put the hardest mode on either story mode or the um, Grand Prix mode, you get slaughtered big time. And it's just a game that has no mercy. I think it's actually almost impossible to beat the very hard mode without learning some like tricks and techniques that aren't really part of the game, they're sort of more speedrunning techniques. I've only ever beaten the game in full once, so there's that. But I wanted to do this game this year because it's just such a big test of skill that I wanted to show off how good I can actually play sometimes. So yeah, there's that. Um, but I pushed it back because of the Nintendo copyright thing and I pushed it back also because my GameCube started acting up a bit. It was not reading discs at all at one point. I wanted to do a couple of Game Boy Play game, uh, Game Boy Advance games, but um, I couldn't because my GameCube was not reading the Game Boy uh, Player disc. And the same happened with a lot of my discs, so um, I think either the laser's really mucky or my GameCube is cleaning out or something, I don't know. I'm gonna get it fixed though. I could actually use a Wii though now for um, GameCube games. I've got like HD component cables for uh, the Wii, so there's that. So some new games I wanted to do this year. There is um, Advance Wars. I don't know which one in the series I'm going to do, but um, my favourite Advance Wars games are 1, 2 and 3. 
the only problem is doing free is on the DS, and I don't have a DS with a capture card in it, so I'd have to do it on an emulator. It doesn't really have any problems doing any emulation on it because it's not an emulation heavy game. The only glitch is like where the cursor is on the screen. But uh, Advance Wars is just like a turn based strategy game, like XCOM in a way. But um, you control like a different army of different units and everything. It's a really awesome game. I want to do one of those this year. I don't know which one I'll do though. I also wanted to do another Sonic game. I didn't know which one I was going to do. I was thinking either one of the Sonic Advance games or Sonic Adventure games. Um, I know I said I'd do Sonic Generations last year, but then I didn't. Um, I don't know which one I'll do though, I'll, I'll probably throw a vote out there at some point, or just decide one day that I'm going to do one of the Sonic games. Another game I was looking at was, um, well another series I was looking at that I had planned the year before, but I never decided at any point when I was going to do it, was um, The Legend of Zelda. I was looking at two different ones, I was looking at either Ocarina of Time, but the Master Quest version on the GameCube because I haven't seen many Let's Plays of that. I've seen um, loads of the original version, but I thought, thought I'd do the Master Quest version for a playthrough, maybe? I don't know. It depends what people feel like. If people want to see me do the original version over Master Quest, I might just do the original, but... It was a choice between that or um, Twilight Princess on the Wii, because uh, I think Twilight Princess is um, a very underrated Zelda game. I think it's a really good one that a lot of people sort of just give crap for, for having a werewolf. Uh, part in it, but I think overall it's it's possibly my favourite one. Like them two are my favourite Zelda games in general. Wind Waker's third, but them two are my favourites. And uh, I wanted to do one of them this year. I don't know which one I'm going to do though. And then um, I've got several uh, games in mind for co-op games. Um, I don't really want to drop too many of them because one of them is going to be blind for me, and the others will be a lot of fun and I don't want to spoil them when I get around to doing them. I've got a couple of um, people that I could um, let's play with. Somebody I'll probably be doing with Chug again, I think. So, there's that. Other things I want to try out this year, there's um, some other videos I want to do this year. Besides doing random PC videos again, I did like in uh, 2013, like the payday videos I did, or like the, um, the random one-off videos for uh, new games I started playing, like Mr. President. <laughs> I wanted to um, do a couple of other videos as well. Um, for example, I wanted to get into speedrunning properly. I did um, at one point last year. I, I posted a speedrun of um, Doom, like a speedrun attempt. I've always enjoyed speedrunning to an extent, but I never really got into it hardcore. And uh, I want to get into it a bit more. I've got a couple of games in mind for it. But yeah, speedruns in general, though, um, it'd just be fun to get into doing a bit of speedrunning because it's a good test of skill and precision. And uh, it's just fun to do in general, and I've had a lot of fun doing games faster than I normally do anyway, so it'd be cool to do it. So besides um, Let's Plays and Speedruns, um, I actually wanted to start some video series up this year, or some new ones. There's a couple I'm probably going to drop from uh, the past that I thought about doing before and either evolved or um, I don't know, I've got other plans from. I'll explain those as I go. I wanted to also um, potentially um, start uploading maybe once a week, twice a week, some um, gameplays. Have a series of gameplay videos going up across several different games. Like, could have like Halo gameplay one day and then like a Battlefield one another day, for example. Pretty much any game that's got an online mode that I could uh, compete in, I'd like to do a video on possibly. And uh, I think that'd be just um, a cool thing to do because I like posting gameplay anyway, um, occasionally. It's, it's just... Um, good when you have a really good match and you just want to share it with people, for example. It's just a, one of those cool things. I wanted to possibly do a DayZ series this year. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing that. I know I want to do it on standalone though, because I'm really enjoying standalone at the moment. And I'm hoping to uh, potentially do a series with that, but I don't know how I'm going to do one, because like, I don't really have a group of people to play the game with, and probably just be me um, potentially bandit hunting or something. I don't know. It'd be cool to do a DayZ series though, because I really like that game a lot. And it's got potential for series material, like an actual, like, weekly series or something. To document how I play through a game or something on it. I'm not really sure what I'd do yet, but it'd be cool to do one. Another series of videos that I wanted to do this year, or was looking at doing, is one that I've been toying around with for a while in my head. I wanted to start doing, like, guitar slash music covers of, uh, like, video game music. Potentially doing medleys of uh, songs, um, so I wanted to do something like that potentially. 
because um, it's something I've toyed around for, with for a long time, and it'd be like a throwback to my um, original channel on YouTube where I used to do tons of guitar covers. I think I got into the idea again once um, I did Sonic CD and I heard some of the music on there, and then um, like I, I I actually played a tiny bit from one of the songs on guitar down the microphone, and it sort of inspired me to start doing it again. Um, I wanted to do some sort of music videos anyway in general. I don't know, I think confidence stopped. I just kept pu pushing myself back because of confidence, even though I've done it before. I think I was just afraid of copyright. But um, copyright on video game music is not as tough. So, I'd like to potentially do that this year though. Possibly a series of um, video game music covers. Maybe do one once every two weeks, two, two to three weeks, something like that. When I do one. Just move on to another set, yeah. Like just do the songs they enjoy and then potentially open it out to you guys uh, to vote on songs that you want to hear. The final idea I had in mind was this um, achievement series where um, it's, a, it's a series I've been kicking about for a while in my head but I don't think I'll, I don't know when I'll actually do it. Basically it was just going to be, I was going to look at an achievement in a game that I haven't got yet, like a really hard one, and then I was going to make a video like talking about the achievement, how you get it and stuff, and then like actually show me trying to get it um, with live commentary. I just never really got round to it. I I started recording one like um, around May or April last year, but then I, I just never finished it off. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that idea yet. But every single um, week, I want I want to do one once a week. So do what one first week and like at the end of the video uh, I'd have like a selection of achievements to go for next and I'd have you guys vote on it so um, And then at, like at the end of the videos I'd have like um, Three or four different achievements you guys could pick from potentially for the next video and uh, go for that achievement in the next video Which way everyone was got the most votes or something but um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that idea yet. I might come back to it though, because I've got a lot of games I've still got achievements to get in on the Xbox and on the um, on Steam, so... Yeah, I really enjoy go going for achievements though. Achievements are just fun to get, because uh, some of them are challenging. Yeah, I know you get the duff ones every now and then, like... Um, press start to get this achievement, but there are some challenging ones to get, and uh, it'd be cool to show off me getting them sometimes, just to... Uh, because I enjoy getting achievements, so. And then the final thing I wanted to mention with uh, 2014 um, is live streams. Um, I've got a couple of different stream ideas in mind. One of them is actually spawned from an a old series idea of mine that I had. If you remember back to um, 2012, I had a series called Challenge Accepted. Like, basically, the Challenge Accepted series was um, um, my viewers set me a challenge in a game. I'd uh, try and do that challenge in a set number of videos or with uh, like rules and stuff. I wanted to do it across loads and loads of games and just have a, a couple of those going every now and then. Like a couple of those posted every now and then. For example, um, I did one where I went into the multiplayer of Battlefield 3 and um, I had to become number one overall using a pistol, like get MVP, for example, just using pistols only. Just challenges like that are just pretty cool. But that was a, a series idea I did a couple of years ago. I want to try and bring that back in the form of streams, like do challenge streams every now and then, where um, I can uh, get the live interaction with you guys and the live reactions to things, and I can constantly check on the rules um, for a challenge, for example. Because I think it'd be a really cool series to turn into um, a stream idea. So that's something I'm toying around with my head. I don't know if that will be a confirmed stream or not. The two main streams I'll be focused on though, um, whenever I do streams. At the moment, unless I decide to do the challenge streams, which I do want to do at some point, or try out at least. Um, but yeah, two of the stream ideas I got is um, there's the let's play streams where I stream a game I'm currently let's playing, and uh, I record a couple of episodes live on the live stream. It'd just be you guys would be uh, watching me play it live and play a let's play live, and I'd be able to talk to you guys still while doing it. I think that'd be cool for like a blind game, maybe, like if you pointed out a secret or something that I could show off. The other one is just casual streams where I just um, just hang out with you guys on the stream and just play whatever games I feel like or you guys want me to. So, yeah. That's pretty much 2014 um, for now, unless I decide on some more ideas or um, have anything else in mind. 
I'm hoping to get a lot of that done this year, though. Um, I'm going to really try and nail it down. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a lot of this year's year and just um, kick out tons of videos for you guys. It'll be a lot of fun to do it anyway, so... Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you've been watching since 2011, then I thank you a lot. I know there's still a couple of people that still watch me from 2011 that subscribed back then to me. And thank you everybody new who's come along since 2011. It's been really great talking to some of you in the comments and seeing you in um, a couple of the live streams as well. Hopefully um, I can do a bit more with you guys this year, like do a bit more interacting and uh, stuff, providing like I, I don't get too nervous. So yeah, um, thank you everybody. Um, I'll see you guys later, and the next video you see after this should be a new video, a new Let's Play, hopefully. So I'll see you guys later.